Hi, I'm Angela and I'm doing a Bachelor of Engineering specialising in Engineering Science. And I'm Tessa and I'm also doing a Bachelor of Engineering but I'm specialising in Biomedical Engineering. I chose Engineering Science as it's similar to like a maths degree in the science department but it has more real world applications and I feel that you can go a little bit further in the future with an engineering degree compared to a science degree. Mm, I chose biomedical engineering because I like to be able to apply the principles I've learned in engineering, sort of the maths and the physics of stuff, to biology and sort of helping people, um, not directly but sort of in an indirect way. No, I changed around quite a lot um, just based on what the first year papers were like. I'd change my mind, I'd do one and think, oh no, not really my thing, but it's good having that first year to decide on what you want to do and you don't have to jump straight in there and say, yes, I'm going to be civil or yes, I'll be an NSI. Yeah, I had an idea that I'd like to do biomedical engineering because I had enjoyed biology at school as well. but. When it came to first year and I found I was really enjoying the mechanics papers and the, the trust building that you do in first year, that sort of swayed me as to I could have chosen any of the disciplines, but I'm really happy with the choice of biomedical in the end. Um, it's muchly the same, although it's a lot more work than I initially thought, um, but it's really good. I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, I didn't have much of a clue about what engineering was really when I was at school, so it was a whole new world when I came into engineering. It's really great um, close sort of family in engineering, even though there's 500 people, because um, you have classes with all the same people all the time, you get to know them a lot better than you would in different degrees. I'm from Rokaka, which is just south of Whangarei. Um, it wasn't too big of a transition because it's only quite a short drive between here and Auckland. Well, between Rokaka and Auckland. And I had family who lived down here, so it was, it was not too bad. Mm, I'm from Masterton in the Wairapa, which is quite quite a small town. And so to, to do anything really, at un to go to university, you have to move away from home. So um, moving to the big Auckland city was quite a big jump. I stayed in O'Rourke in first year, which is really good for meeting people. But it, it is quite a big jump moving to the city and being responsible for yourself. But um, it's really enjoyable and you learn to um, enjoy spending more time with your friends and they become like your family. Well, it's a bit different from school when, like, even though I was at a co-ed school, I, the females were the majority, but it's not too bad. You still mingle with the guys and the Women in Engineering Network has a lot of events for the girls just so that we can get away from the slightly macho <laughs> atmosphere that comes with engineering. But, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I also found it quite a shock because I came from an all-girls school. But um, you get uh, used to the boys and being a smaller group of girls within the engineering you get to know the girls in other years and the girls in your year really well so it means you make really good friendships which, with each other. Hopefully get a job. I'm quite interested in fluid dynamics and modelling of fluids and solids and things like that so maybe maybe an oil production in that kind of field possibly. Um, I'm currently looking at possibly doing more study after I finish uni. Um, I'm doing a project with the Biomimetics Laboratory at the um, Auckland University Bioengineering Institute and this, um, at the lab they study things in nature, um, animals and such and try and replicate the muscles or the, the way they move um, using engineering components. And so this is an area that I'm finding really interesting and something that I hope to get a job in in the future. Hi, I'm Robin McLeod and I work in the Faculty of Engineering at the University of Auckland. My job as the Women in Engineering Equity Advisor means that I work with the women engineers here. At the moment we have 21% of our student body as women students but we'd really like it to be 
So if you're vaguely considering a career in engineering, please contact me. My details are at the end of this clip and I'd love to hear from you.